Hello, this is Jesus Manuel Mena Garza of Fort Worth, Texas. Yesterday I had the great opportunity to go visit the facilities of Casita Travel Trailers just down the road in Rice, Texas. Took me about an hour and 50 minutes to drive down there. Had a great time looking at all their fiberglass travel trailers. Uh, they make it all in-house, the frames, the fiberglass shell, and the furniture. And they put it all together there in their, uh, again, in their facilities in Rice, Texas. They have deluxe models with bathrooms and standard models without bathrooms. If you have any questions about uh, purchasing or about the products, you can always call Harold Clemens at uh, Casita. I'm not getting any cash, any benefit, uh, any uh, perks uh, by producing this video. It's all just uh, for fun. I am not uh, monetized by YouTube. I don't even get any money for the clicks that you're, uh, you're by checking out this video. It's all just, again, for fun. This is the Liberty Deluxe Edition. Now, they have a lot of options uh, on these units, so uh, I would recommend contacting uh, Casita if you have any questions. This unit, again, is essentially two uh, shells they put together these two fiberglass shells and they just attach in the, in the middle there with this aluminum ribbing and uh, that's it and then inside they uh, uh, they attach uh, this uh, foam backed uh, carpet and use that as insulation there's a bathroom window by the way and then on that they attach the cabinet so it's a really interesting construction it's not your typical uh, box that you make in Elkhart, uh, Indiana, all those boxes that you tell you. This is actually something that's going to last you a lifetime. There's a city water connection and uh, down there are the uh, the dump valves where you can dump the black and the gray. Duh. They use Goodyear tires, not uh, some Chinese uh, $25, $35 tire. These are a little bit more pricey and they, um, they have easy uh, heat lubricate hubs there. So it makes your life a lot easier so you won't have uh, any problems going down the road. That's where you put your 30 amp power cord. It's attached. And you only have one battery, but you have the option to get a better battery. It's one of the things I would like to recommend to uh, Casita in the future. Maybe add uh, a couple batteries back there. It's just not just one. Uh, in today's uh, age of using all these electronics, we need more energy. We need more battery space. There's the AC unit on top. The AC unit uh, has a heating element, so that's a positive. So there's heat in there and it's plugged into shore power. Here's another view of the AC unit and also the uh, manual awning. Maybe there's a little crank and it comes down in a few, a few seconds. Well, the bumper can hold about, uh, I bet I heard about 100 pounds. It's connected at about four points to the frame, so it's rather sturdy. Uh, just, and there's a tire, a spur tire, attached to the back. I went inside and uh, got a better view of this uh, storage area. Now we're back to shooting outside. There are a lot of windows on this casita. That's a definite benefit. You won't feel uh, claustrophobic. I feel very comfortable in this uh, warm and fuzzy uh, little uh, travel trailer. There's one step that you can uh, manually use to uh, get in and out. Use a metal hardware to attach your uh, door. And there's a level. And uh, again, metal hardware, not the plastic that can break. Good quality. If you're attached to shore power or have a generator, be it a solar generator or a gas power generator or even a propane generator, 
you get uh, you know AC power through those plugs. Uh, there is no inverter inside, nothing to invert the 12 volt that single battery's power to uh, you know AC or uh, 110 power. A lot of uh, LED lights in and out. A positive. A little handle to get inside, so we help you get inside. Casitas only come in one color. Guess what? It's white. Hope you like white. So there you see the optional uh, tongue jack and the two 20-pound uh, propane uh, tanks. Plenty of room inside for me. I'm only 5'10". Plenty of cushions here. This is the uh, tan or earth tone interior. Again, this is all just fiberglass and uh, this uh, wood, this composite wood with uh, this veneer of uh, oak, sort of looking oak looking down, this real oak. And they make it all in-house and they use the same wood for the doors and uh, the drawers, etc. Et they got some really nice faucets in the kitchen. I wish they had better faucets in the bathroom. There's the uh, water pump. Stainless steel, top of the line. I think it's better than uh, plastic or the composite or the uh, American uh, stone cast. Again, I'm showing the switch. Start to get dizzy here, going in and out of all these cabinets. All the cabinets are pretty much all the same. They're uh, shaped, that little concave shape, and uh, you can't go back very far. They only go back about a foot, and uh, at the back they get a little narrow. So you have to be very creative in the way you store stuff. But you have a lot of cabinets, and uh, you can put a lot of clothes, things that are flexible, umbrellas, and uh, your pots and pans have to go down in the drawers below. They use the same uh, latches as Airstream used to use a couple years ago. I think they still use those at Airstream. I have since decided I cannot afford, afford an Airstream. <laughs> I uh, kept on looking at these sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollar airships and I said, nah, it's better spend somewhere else. Just leave it in the stocks and bonds and all my other stuff that I have and just leave it there and collecting interest and spending all that cash on a expensive airstream. These things only go for uh, you know around twenty thousand dollars and less and a little more. You have a lot of options to pick from. There's uh Stove, three burner stove, suburban, but no oven. There's a little rack there right? where you can put your towel. A little vent. Probably for the motor of something or some device. Vent line. Hood light and hood fan. You've seen it here. I'm trying to show you everything. And these are those drawers where you put your pots and pans because uh, they definitely won't fit up in those cabinets. This is that mystery wood. I'm trying to still figure out what it is. It's, uh, it's laminated and uh, some sort of composite uh, chipboard of some type. I don't know what it is. Hopefully it lasts a while. These uh, casitas are well known for being, and they have a cult following, for being very, very reliable. And I'm going to open up another drawer for you. In fact, I'm probably going to open most of them for you. There it goes. And down there, they got some space for you to put some larger pieces of equipment. Uh, your big you know, crab pots, your crock pots, your muy grande pots, your gigantic pots. Put them all down there. There's your operating instructions and how to turn off gas. Two appliances. Good to know. Good place for it too. There we go. Snap in a shut. There's a mirror on the door to the uh, bathroom. Here I go inside the white bathroom. It's all white. Again, I wish uh, they uh, added uh, there's where you can put your toilet paper and stuff in there. A little dry space. 
I wish they used chrome fixtures. That would have been nice. Would have deviated from the normal here. So a nice chrome faucet right there. I guess that's one of the things I would do first if I bought this unit. Put a chrome faucet there just to add a little sparkle. This is a similar design as the Airstreams, and again, I've seen quite a few Airstreams. Uh, got a fan there, just pops it out and get, get some nice ventilation in the bathroom. One shelf, and then below that is another shelf. This is again a wet bath, as you can guess, uh, duh. There's the wand for your shower, it has an on off switch. You can upgrade that, of course, uh, to something. Of Shiny and fabulous. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the where the shower curtain rather flimsy, so you got to be careful not to break that immediately. And they got the internal pipe there. You got a pipe there going up, and you got one going. You know, it's a, you can see it there. In case you need to repair it, it's pretty easy, huh? There's a light and the window to the exterior and you have a little storage space down there and there's the plastic toilet and around the toilet they have this little seam that collects dirt and debris and grime that you have to clean up every time you go on after you come back on vacation you get in your hands and knees and use a toothbrush a little scrub brush and clean it all up Thetford I heard about them they're a good brand there's a tight shot of that little seam down there a little fuzzy shot the foot flush toilet and that area where you can put some soap shampoos conditioners uh, scrub brushes etc etc this is probably the longest time you've ever seen a, a bathroom in a RV uh, yeah, ever I'm finally getting out of there there you see the shower curtain there's an area where you can put the towels etc again the doors and all the uh, drawers are made from the same wood and the same design and they're cut from the same wooden uh, panels. There's that carpeting. It's all backed by about a three-eighths of an inch of, of uh, polyurethane foam and glued to the walls. And it, cont and it contours very easily to the fiberglass. So that's the only insulation you're getting is the carpet and the polyurethane foam. There's some odds and ends in there, tools, knickknacks, things that you need, a fire extinguisher, good stuff. A little area you can put some uh, items, your choice, because there's a lot of areas here that you can put stuff. And you can talk to the wife, the husband, the partner, the family, and say, hey, what are we, where are we going to put what, and where are we going to put it? This is where you put this, uh, this box here is where you typically can put a microwave. They, sell, they can sell you one for 200 bucks or you can buy your own microwave for 50 to 100, 150 bucks. It's your choice. There's a plug inside and ventilation on both sides. And you can not use it for a microwave. You can just uh, store stuff because it's already carpeted. It's nice and fuzzy in there. It has that fuzzy whitish carpet with uh, foam backing. And again, there's a vent. There's the plug, two of them. And as I open up uh, the cabinet above it, you can see where the plug is attached. They don't try to hide things here, especially at this price point. There's uh, the interior of another cabinet. They are all pretty much the same. There's that plug, the uh, back side of that plug. These latches are pretty solid. I had no problems with these latches. Just press and they pop out, press and lock them. Yeah, the cabinets go all the way around and of course this um, the shape of the casitas is round so you can't put uh, you know square cabinets on these things like they do in uh, Elkhart Indiana to all those other you know manufacturers of uh, our uh, travel trailers those little boxes those little uh, Luan or Luan boxes they sell down there and uh, some of them have as dim which is nice and great Big windows. That's a big back window, I must admit. And there's the AC unit with uh, all the 
cages on it uh, so we can modify it and up ahead is this very very nice fan and there it is I really appreciate this fan this is high quality fan and you can control it I think remotely or with the, with the buttons here I'm just gonna press the button here it opens up the cover and there you go A plus open up all those windows and all those windows open why they are not uh, those jealousy type windows which open up just a tiny bit but are very fashionable these are very functional they open up all the way you can get as much ventilation as you want and there's a little 13 inch TV if you're used to your 60 70 inch at home this is gonna be a disappointment but it's what fits in the space that's all you can put in there if you put a 70 inch in there it's gonna block the whole wall the tilt suggests very nice. Yes, I'm going to open up more cabinets. Ay, ay, ay. There's one of the uh, detectors. And this is a Dometic refrigerator. And uh, it's a very nice uh, unit. It's four cubic feet. It has drawers on the side, an area where you can put your milk, and of course an area on top which is a freezer. Yeah, so you have both the freezer and a refrigerator. It's AC and propane powered. And of course uh, I'm a big fan of AC DC refrigerators because they use very low amperage. So you can power them with a couple batteries, but since this thing only has one battery, it might be a little tough. So it's an, this is an AC propane refrigerator. Again, I'm showing you all the windows. One of the big selling points of this uh, casita. Here's the fabric. They offer to the left there the slate, and to the right the tan earth tone. And the interior of this unit is tan earth tone. Very nice. And this is the suburban uh, heating element, heating unit, the controls for the heating unit, the thermostat. That's what I was going to say, the thermostat. And you have Venetian blinds all the way around. Venetian blinds. You don't have to deal with those little strings uh, for the other types of blinds. To the left here, they have some storage and. Uh, that's a water tank also, so I don't know if there's that's that's a water tank, yeah, definitely. And uh, it might be the gray tank. And to the right there, you got some uh, some electronics equipment. It looks like. When you get down to the casita store, you can ask, what is this stuff? What does it do? And you can ask about all the options. You can option this thing out to your heart's content. And then a few months later, several months later, you'll have your own personal casita. Here I am putting uh, together the bed. And um, you see my rear end there. I apologize. I'm going to make it as quick as possible. You can either make the bed like that, the, those that front uh, cushions, and, and leave the back, just uh, that front section as a as a dinette if you wish and while you travel so you can have a little dinette in the front and the back section could be the bed or you can make the whole thing up and make a rather large bed so you can take out that cushion and just make it into a you know a dinette on the left to right and the back section will be a bed it's up to you what you want to do and put a little table there or you can make the whole thing a large sofa and here it is a large sofa and uh, there you are the left side I put the cushions in a certain way I put the small cushion over there but on the other side I put the small cushion to my right against that wall so uh, I imagine myself uh, leaning back watching that 13 uh, inch TV enjoying myself at a campsite wonderful this table rotates around this is the one you would use for the dinette if you stuff the other part is in bed very functional.
course, I had to take off the uh, table and show you the components. Because I'm a very nosy guy. And there it is. It's very shiny. Some of the components are made in China, but uh, all the manufacturing of the fiberglass shell, the making of the cabinets, the sales staff, a lot of the other products and uh, equipment are made in the United States. So they, but they do have a couple odds and ends that are made across the ocean. This is the Spirit Deluxe, their most popular model. It has a little dinette and a bed back there. The oven and the uh, microwave is uh, in this unit, so the microwave is right there, that little empty space that you saw in the other previous unit. So the oven's on the left side, not the right side like the previous unit. The sink there too. A storage underneath. And this converts to a single bed. This is the Freedom Deluxe. It has these two uh, very cozy little chairs. I'm a, it was a tight fit for me, but it works. I'm 5 feet 10, 175 pounds of goodness. I'm contemplating my future, future of, uh, on the YouTube, uh, and my life in general in Fort Worth, Texas. Again, those are the cabinets down there. The Independence Deluxe is another model. You can configure this many different ways, but it has plenty of storage underneath. That's one of the benefits of this unit. A lot of storage underneath. This is in the slate interior. And the uh, appliances are similar to the, what the first, uh, first uh, travel trailer I showed you where, where they're located. There's a plug, two plugs, uh, near the door entrance. And of course they do sell solar panels and they sell for, I think six, 700 bucks. I don't know, I forgot the price, but they're pretty pricey. And, and they're uh, your, your standard ZAMP solar panels and uh, we have different options for that. This is how you uh, put up and you take down your awning. It's, it's a manual operation. It shouldn't be too difficult for most of us. And it's a nice blue color. I really like that color. It's quite pretty, as my wife would say. So here we are at Casita Travel Trailers. I greatly appreciate you checking out my video. I enjoyed my time down there. They're very, very nice people uh, and very professional. And I would like to thank you for checking out my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.